14 day timer expired, initializing failsafe. Hi, this is strange. Stranger than I expected. I guess I'm supposed to write this in past tense, though I hardly feel like admitting it's over. My name is Bit, and if you're reading this, I'm already dead. Exclamation, everybody, and welcome to Hacknet. It is by Team Fractal Alligator. It is on Steam. It is fully released. This is not an early access. This is this is fully up there and ready to go. And if you've ever played a, a little known game from the past called Uplink, uh, this will start to look very very similar uh, in many ways, but different in its own in its own right. It is a one of those hacking simulator games uh, where you're supposed to go through. It's very very minimal interface, uh, and it uses well. It bases itself on some real-life commands and other information to try to give it a, an air of legitimacy, just like Uplink did back in the day. Uh, although this one goes one step further and actually gives you a little bit of a terminal to type th things in. So uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to just take a brief look at this and see how things are going. I've started a brand new game. I've already played through a little bit, so I know sort of what's coming up here. I've gotten familiar with it for the most part. Tutorial, as of right now, you are at risk. Learn as quickly as possible. Begin the tutorial sequence by, by pressing the continue button below. Connect to a computer by typing connect IP in the terminal or by clicking on a node on the network map. All right, so we'll do this. And go work. The first thing to do on any system is scan for adjacent nodes. This will reveal more computers on your map that you can use. So let us scan the network. Since we're already logged in as administrator of our own PC, we shall scan. And we have a, we have, oh, this is completely different from, from last time. This is a different uh, consortium thing altogether. All right. That should be all you'll need from your own server now. Disconnect from your machine. All right. So we'll come over. Oh, I, I, just, I have to click on that to do it. It's time for you to connect to an outside computer. Be aware that attempting to compromise the security of another blah, blah, blah is illegal. Proceed to your, on your own risk. Connect to uh, an outside machine by clicking the node, uh, blue node on the network. All right, there we go. Uh, this VM's terminal module has been activated. This will be your primary interface for navigating, interacting with nodes. A command can be run by typing it out and pressing enter. A computer security system and open ports can be analyzed using probe or nmap, if you prefer, which is the, the more correct thing, nmap. Um, and you can do that to the computer you're currently selected to. So we'll do nmap. Over on the terminal on the right here. And here are the ports that are being used, uh, but they're all locked right now. So what we can do is, so we don't have, we don't need any open ports to do a crack on this one. That's why it says open ports required for crack is zero. So we will do a uh, port hack on 22. There we go. It will attempt to find me a username and password to log into this. And there we go. Found a password for me. So excellent. We should be able to go on there and uh, scan a network some more. So we're on here now. Uh, I want to what should we call it. Uh, do this. Let's say scan. All right. Uh, investigate the file system. So we'll do an LS. There we go. That's what's on our file system here. So we got your home, your log, and all those things. So if I do home, we see all these new folders and stuff, which is awesome. Uh, log is all my, my current logs here. And then the binary file, or the, the binary uh, <laughs> directory, I should say. Uh, there are no programs here, but you should look at config text. So we'll do cat config, config text. There we go. It does have the tab completion, which is what I'm using quite a bit. And we've got, let's see, config i9, init number 12, continual spawning, yes. Colors enabled, full screen, yes. I imagine I could probably like 1200 by, 1280 by 800. I probably can like modify this, I would imagine. Um, but then we can just navigate up as it's saying here, doing all the things in the tutorial and the log and delete all the logs here. 
which is uh, very important to do to cover your tracks. And then disconnect or DC. Excellent. So that is the tutorial. And we've got help and all that stuff. And all those things sufficient. You must locate the process ID of this tutorial program and kill it. Okay, so PS. And it is, the pit is 220, so kill uh, minus nine. I guess it doesn't matter the minus nine. 220. There we go. We've killed the tutorial. And now we're ready to go. It looks like I've got some mail here. So it's telling me. First contact. Hi. I don't know you, and I'm sad to say I never will. But if you're reading this, it means you might be the only person that can make things right. Right now I'm trapped. There's no way out, and not enough time, and I need your help. But there's something you need to take care of first. The faster the better. Hacknet OS wasn't meant to be released as it is now. After a while, an automated tracker will activate itself. We can't let that happen. Connect to your own node, uh, then find and delete securitytracer.exe. When you're done, just reply to this email. All right. All right, we'll connect here. We'll do uh, ls, and I guess it's a, be under binaries here. Yep, so remove uh, security tracker. Bam, that is gone. All right, so then we will reply to that email. And send. And there we go. Great, that should keep you safe for now at least from your own computer. Before we start, you're going to need a few things. Port hack alone just isn't going to cut it on most modern computers you'll find, not ones with anything worth looking at anyway. You should start by checking up on a friend of mine. He goes by Viper. Awful, I know. He's honestly not the brightest crayon in the box, but he always seems to get a hold of useful code. You should have no trouble getting into his files. Finding something useful might be a bit more challenge, though. Uh, you can, for the most part, ignore the generic files, stuff that gets logged or saved by a program, IRC logs and the like. Custom name things like exe files are what you want to look out for. Download any files you can use using the command scp. Good luck. Reply again when you're done. Alright. So we'll uh, click on that. That gives me his little node on the thing there. And then this gives me a little quick reference sheet so I can see it. Gotta keep an eye on the RAM as well. This will just give me a little... Uh, information about what I gotta do. So I'll just close that one out so my RAM goes back down again. And there we go. Alright, so we will attempt to connect to this guy. Let's do a scan. Or, I'm sorry, uh, not scan, uh, nmap. A probe, I meant. There we go. And we'll do a uh, port hack. Oops. Port hack uh, 22. Get ourselves a username and password here. Excellent. We're now we have now ex escalated our privileges. Let's do a scan while we're here. Ooh, ooh, entropy asset cache. Ooh, okay. So we found another thing there. Uh, then we want to see the file system here. So let's go under bin. What we got here? SSH crack. I can probably use that. So we'll SCP that to my local oh, SCP. SSH crack to my local folder. There we go. SCP, by the way, is secure copy. Uh, this is not, even though these commands are based off of actual commands in the real world, they're not, you know, if I were typing this into my Linux laptop that sits right next to me right now recording my voice, uh, there would be a lot more parameters on the command line. Let's put it that way. Uh, so it does simplify things quite a bit. And of course, I can always go and click around and, and do all the button clicks and stuff too. If I really want to. All right. Uh, before we leave this guy, we should go under log, and we should remove all these logs of my of my copy and stuff. All right. Very good. And then we can disconnect from him. Excellent. I am curious about this other one though. Oh, actually, you know what? Can I connect this one directly? Probably. Um, so what I'd like to do is connect, uh, let's do an nmap on him. Firewall has been detected and I need one open port in order to crack into it. Okay. So let's see here. Let's try our hand with, uh, getting this firewall down. So they have a thing called analyze. 
which gives me that firewall analysis pass and then I think I have to keep doing it until it removes all the bytes that I don't care about. Uh, pass two. And okay, three, four, five, six. Okay, so then everything that's not zero, I would imagine, is how I solve this. So, so solve, uh, let's see, I, uh, M, E, T, time, probably, time. Yes, there we go. Cool. So we've gotten past the firewall on this guy, and we've got that SSH crack now that we can use, that we just downloaded. So let's do SSH crack on 22, port 22. Actually, port 22 is SSH in the real world. FTP is port 21, and mail servers do run on port 25, and web servers run on port 80. So there are some reality things in here, realistically like things in here. But all, a lot of these commands are not that realistic. So there we go, 22. And let's see. What do we get for our troubles here? All right. So we have that open now. And I should be able to do a port hack, right? On 22. And get me a, get me a nice little log in here yes we are logged in all right let's uh go to the bin directory and see what we've got here hex clock exe eh, why not scp hex clock exe i don't know what it does but i'm gonna take it screw it um is there anything in under system uh os config sys boot config net config okay nothing there how about home? <laughs> Actually, the CD doesn't work the way it works in Linux here. That would work in Linux because it would take me back to the root and do that. But in here, you got to actually do it sort of like you got you to go up a, up a command by doing a dot dot and then go to home. Uh, what are all these? I mean, I don't feel like typing these in. Let's just click on them this way. IRC log. Uh, all right. Cats. Can I do cat star? No. Cats. IRC log. <laughs> From Kramer. So many fucking criminals. It's bullshit. Heh. <laughs> if we sent all the criminals to some empty continent and just left them there to die and showed up like 50 years later, like, sup? What'd you think they'd say? Something along the lines of, good day, mate. <laughs> uh, rough. That's rough. Okay. Uh, 27. More RC logs. More RC logs here. Okay. Whatever. I'm not going to read all of those. But I am going to go under log. Oops. Uh, I'm going to go under log. And I'm going to remove trace of my being on here. Do, 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 do. And I'm going to disconnect. Excellent. All right. So now we should be able to reply to that one email and get going here so just reply and send excellent all right maiden flight congratulations i honestly have no way of knowing if you succeeded in this responder but if you're seeing this it means you at least found something i'm going to assume it's something really useful you should try breaking one of my old test servers if viper had the sort of thing he's known for getting lying around you should have everything you need to get in Remember, any non-basic programs you get need a port number to run, like this, SSH Crack 22. Just find a port you want to crack and run it on that. Oh, and in case you don't know already, you can hit tab to autocomplete commands, hitting SSH and then tab, blah, 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 and all that stuff. Cool. All right, Bitwise Test PC. There we go. And Security Basics Guide, which gives me a little note over here about probing and all those things, which I kind of already know. So there we go. So let's look at the Bitwise test PC, shall we? Let's do an end map on this guy. And I need an open port, so we'll do SSH crack 
22. Since he has no firewall, he won't, that won't stop me from getting in there. Very, very similar to Uplink. Uh, even with the, like the music and stuff, the kind of thumping music and stuff. Uh, Uplink had really good music from that. Uplink, though, was far more graphical. You, you clicked around things and you had timers that would kick off real fast and you had to make sure you, you would jump through m multiple nodes on the map and then that would, uh, you know, at, as you would get into certain things, people would trace you back and you had to make sure you hurried up real fast so nobody traced back to your machine. And then you had, there were upgrades for your machine in that game where it was like, oh, this is, it's harder for people to track you or there was a, like, doomsday things that would destroy the contents of your machine before you could be caught or something like that. It was it was pretty in-depth. I haven't gotten very far into this game yet. Only about maybe a half an hour, 40 minutes into it. So I don't know if that kind of thing happens here, but um, this does strike me as far more basic, but also at the same time it's it's its own, its own thing. And obviously if I dug around in all those IRC chat logs, I'd probably get even more of the story going here. All right, so enough, enough to, enough jibba jabba. Let's do a port hack on 22 here, and get ourselves, get ourselves some escalated privileges, shall we? Nice. All right, uh, I want to do a scan while I'm here. Uh, nothing. Okay. All right. So, uh, what was I trying to do? I think they wanted me to look for stuff. Folder is empty. Um, oops, CD. Not that. Sys. No. Home. Uh, test file. So, cat test file. Congratulations, you win. Excellent. <laughs> uh, cat hubs. Terminal guide. Text text. Any list of commands you'll want from the command line, cat cd slash will drop you to the root directory, which is good, but it should actually also do that if you put stuff after that, but it doesn't. Uh, ls uh, cd pulls you up one. Uh, move, you can do a moves and renames just like you would on a, on a Linux machine. On, a, on Windows in DOS, uh, back when DOS was a thing, there was actually a rename command, ren. Um, Whereas on your Unix and Linux and all the other and Mac OS and all them, it's just move. Move does both a move and a rename if you want to just rename a thing and not move it anywhere. So that's what this is, is working off of. Uh, you get the help commands. Also, ooh, fork bomb. I have not used that yet. Uh, it's not specified, but it's useful panic button. If you need to, to down a system in a hurry, you'll need admin rights for this one. You can fork bomb your own system as a defense measure. Okay. I haven't had to use that yet. And shell, shells I have had to use. Uh, so I will probably use that coming up here. All right. So that's what we've got there. And we'll go into log. We'll remove trace of us being here. Do, 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 do. All right. Disconnect. Nice. Okay. So what we have to do here. Um, all right, we just had to break into it, so I'll just reply to this and send it. Something in return. Nice work. Here's where it's going to start getting harder. I need to ask a favor. I've been a little sloppy lately, which is what got me into this whole mess. It's why I'm running this in the first place, I guess. Anyway, the point is, there's some logs on a few computers I'd prefer weren't there. You should remember this. If you forget everything else I tell you, don't get sloppy. Delete your logs. If you haven't been, start now. Everything you do on any modern OS is tracked and logged in the log folder. Just go there and RM star the whole thing. Never forget to. All right, so uh, bedroom PC there and request details. And that just gives me more information on what I want there. All right, so we gotta go to his bedroom PC and we'll do an end map on that guy. And see what he's got. All right. And then SHH crack on 22. So it does get a little bit repetitive, but also uplink was very um, repetitive too back in the day. Uh, once you get the basic commands down, you're going to use them a lot. But that's that's par for the course if you're playing a game like this. Um, all right. Ports hack 
22. There we go. And uh, the other thing is that I, I, between sessions, I always forget the commands here. Even though they're real life commands, they're, they're, they aren't. <laughs> and I always forget which sequence of commands I'm supposed to use sometimes. So it's good to have the UI here to do things, but also uh, it would be nice if the help menu was a little bit better. Because you do, like help one, two, and three does help a little bit, but doesn't have all the commands on there. And that's a little bit of a pain in the neck after a while. Um, all right, so we've done this. We're on here. Let's do a scan real fast. Scan complete nothing. Okay. All right. Uh, let me look under its bin just in case there's something here I want. Nope. Okay. We'll go under log and we'll remove all these things. Oh, there's a there's a PDF file here. I kind of want to actually before we do this. Uh, let's go under home and let's go under documents, laptop police report, tax return, ooh, uh, cat tax return, which is a binary file, of course, <laughs> I would, I would expect it to be, um, I wonder if, I wonder if that nets me anything if I copy that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. Tax uh, return. It's automatically copying it to my home folder. So there, there's a thing. Uh, maybe I'll be able to read it at some point. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I can find the, the program to read it with. Laptop police report. Laptop uh, police report. Police number. Claim, that's a badge number there, it looks like, and claim number. All right, well, that, I don't know if that's helping me anything. Uh, cat laptop text. Convention insurance won't cover. Personal insurance not not declared prior to incident. Uh, can investigate, can't cover. Unlikely anything comes of that. Okay. So I don't know what any of that's about. Oh, there's a chat log here. Um... Are you guys ready to stream? That depends. Are you ready to die? <laughs> Laughing out loud. Shut up, Johnson. Don't make me get the peanut butter and microchips. There's one goddamn time. One time is all it takes. Where is Hellerfant? Anyone heard from him? No one really knows where he is. A mystical, magical beast who just appears when you least expect it. Seriously, our streaming schedule is messed up. Every time I hop on, it's not what I expected. The schedule is a mess of guesswork and broken dreams. Ah, <laughs> uh, internet. Ah, uh, internet. Um, oh, personal. Hello. Letter draft. Uh, dad, I don't know. I know you don't understand the choices that I've made, and I don't expect you to. What I do expect, however, is the common decency to respect those choices and to continue treating me as your child. Until you're willing to do that, I'm sorry, but I need to leave Boston. I can't bear to be in the same city knowing that my hero, my role model, is living in the same place, ignoring my existence. I've tried my hardest to be accommodating, understanding, and to try to explain this transition, but I can't handle it anymore. I'm going to head out to LA with James. If you want to talk, you have my numbers. Please know that I haven't made this decision lightly. This is something that I have to do, and I hope that in time you will learn to accept me for who I really am. I love you, Paul. <laughs> okay, Paul. Get, get your get your emo get your emo out of my peanut butter. Thank you. Alright, so we'll go down to the log folder here and we will remove all this stuff. Which is why we were here in the first place. Do 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 Apparently he deleted a dossier file, so that's interesting. And we will disconnect. Alright. And reply to said email. Do, 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 do. There we go. Uh, where to from here? All right, if you see this, then you've done well. And, well, all this might actually be worth something. Is that too much to hope for? It seems like a lot to hope for. I realize that I just don't have the time to write this whole thing. There's way too much to learn, and I don't have time to do any of it. So I'm going to need to ask something more. There's a group that goes by Entropy that's currently accepting members. They'll be able to teach you more. When you're ready, I'll contact you again. As for getting into Entropy, you'll need to bypass a proxy server. A few shells, open using the command shell, running on computers you've already got admin access on should be able to overload it. Uh, good luck and thank you. Uh, P.S. I almost forgot. If you run into trouble, I've linked the Network Education Archives server too. It's got a lot of useful info on it. Okay. 
So we'll get these links in here. There's the entropy test server, proxy server info. This gives me information on what I need to do there on proxy servers. All right, cool. So this guy is the target. Um, ed education, yeah. The, so this, the education archives. Um, I don't know what J, is Jmail the one? I don't, I don't know. Uh, the network education archives just gives you some information here, which helps, but uh, it's it's hard to always come back and, and see all that stuff all the time. All right, so I'll exit out of that. And what we will do is go to, let's grab some of the things that I have already hacked here. So I'm on, this is my PC. So Valence Consortium. Let's get a shell going here. Excellent. So we got a shell going on that guy. Let's connect to this one. Because uh, we've got the admin login and password. And we'll get a shell going here. Excellent. All right. Now, for the target computer. Let us do an end map on it. Proxy is detected. All right. So, um, I think it's, what was it? Uh, I proxy, oh, oh, I forget. I forget what it said for the, <laughs> this is, this is what happens to me. I forget the commands as I'm doing stuff here. Uh, help, uh, to, uh, do, 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 yeah, see, it doesn't talk about proxies. This is the problem with this help menu is it doesn't talk about any of the, any of the, uh, the proxy stuff on it. Forgot about that. Um, you have to look that stuff up again, which is over here. All right. Um, proxy server info. Shell, uh, overload. Oh, that's right. I have to use a shell to overload. Uh, and I don't know what the overload command is. For those uh, all I know is I have to click the overload button so that is what we will do here let's click on this guy and we did the end map on him so I gotta do it again so it shows up here excellent and then we'll hit this guy with an overload from both computers nice okay and now that we've overloaded the proxy I can go and do an SSH Crack on 22. And we've got that open. All right, port hack 22. All right, and we'll go under bin and see if there's anything for us here. Uh, <laughs> there's a directory called Zero Cool and Op Stormwind. Uh, e admins are lazy. TXT. Let's see. E admins are lazy. No one ever remembers to clear out the bin folder too. This is a test server scrubs. It's designed for people to break in. At least tidy up. <laughs> uh, zero cool. Let's see what he has. To say. <laughs> Hack the planet. Uh, all the movie references. All the movie references. <laughs> There's a retort in here too. Assuming you know what retort means, let me start by saying you're nothing but a scrub. It'll probably take you all week to work out how to smash through that proxy. I bet you're probably 12 thinking you can hack the planet from your mom's 386. <laughs> Good luck, kid. Move on and let the pros handle. Ah, uh, internet. Ah, uh, internet. <laughs> What's up, Stormwind? I'm, I'm kind of curious. Need help text. Uh, and lulls text. Oh, this ought to be great. Need help text. If you're here, chances are you know a thing or two about getting into places you shouldn't belong. Those idiots over at Stormwind have totally ruined the balance of Shaitan 3 with the latest auction house patch. I've been a super fan since the original Shaitan was released in 96, and I say we stick it to them and bring that auction house down. If you want in, leave a text file in here and I'll find you. Ooh. Slide fire. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Uh, Wola Bang. What the hell? What the hell is this? 400 gym store wind online. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, cat lulls. Admins are pretty pissed at you, Slide Fire. The Chinese contingency has been hammering the servers all night requesting gold. 
Uh, I guess I could... I don't know if I can leave something here or not. Can I? Um... Uh... I don't think... Yeah, I don't think... Hmm. I don't think there's anything I could leave here. Because I can't do... Can I do a touch? No. <laughs> a touch usually gives you a... Usually gives you a way to create a file that's empty. But nope. I guess not. This is no way to do that. Um... Bit please read. I'm, I'm kind of curious what that says. Can't bit please read. Bit, if you are lurking, can you please come out of the shadows? I need to talk to you. Vapor won't get off my case saying something's wrong. She's sure something's going on. Let me know. Hmm. Okay. Um, so, is there anything else here? CD into home. Entropy induction tests. Uh... Download this file to complete your induction test. Entropy will contact you. Okay, SCP. Entropy. There we go. Nice. And I have I have all the I have all the internet connectivity right now, I guess. And here, let's go to log and let's remove all of our traces just just so we can. Just to clean everything up here. Yeah, so many logs. So many logs that I have done here. All right, we'll disconnect from this guy and we will close our shells on the various systems that we are on. Excellent. Excellent. All right, let's see what we've got here. Confirmation mission. Greetings, Mem. Let me be the first to congratulate you on locating and passing the entropy group entrance exam. While to an experienced hacker, it's a relatively trivial task, surprisingly few seem actually seem to manage it. Before we will be able to allow you to officially join a group, we must further confirm your abilities. A tabloid no news server has recently taken a negative stance towards entropy, and we'd like to temporarily disable their operation. As a second test of your skill, we ask you to bring down the server's message board. If you can, leave the non-entropy-related oracles and the rest of the server intact. We do not wish to be needlessly destructive. This is not a request to simply wipe the server clean of oracles. We want just that program brought down. Uh, leave the non-entropy related articles and the rest of the server intact. Okay, so we'll do this and Okay, cool Let's take a look at this guy first of all probably should have just left those shells running huh? Let's do a let's do an end map on this guy so entropy group engaged in malicious hacking and Okay, so I guess I could get rid of the ones that are about entropy. Maybe uh, end map whoops map what is open on this guy? Okay, he's got a proxy. All right, so we will connect to this guy and we'll log in like so. And we'll do a shell here. Probably only need the one, sh well, yeah, I could do this one too, why not? Log in, complete, and we'll do shell on this guy too. Might as well. Might as well. If it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing, as they say. All right, so we want to do a, we want to do an end map so I can see what progress I'm making. End map, yeah. And let's do an overload. There we go. Proxy bypassed. Excellent. And let's do. SSH crack on 22 since that's the only program I have right now you do start to download and find uh, I should say find other programs as you go along later on okay cool port 22 is now open so port hack which I actually don't need to put 22 on here it'll just find all the open ports that we need there we go alright we are in now so ls uh, let's go to, let's see what processes are running. Oh, okay, the message board process is not running. Um, but the message board is up, so we're going to have to find some other way of doing this. Let's go to message board. And what does it say? It's a config caution text, okay. Config caution. Uh, config sys in this folder is a critical system file. Do not delete or rename it. 
Doing so will crash the board and bring the host program down. Changes to config should be made only during scheduled outages to avoid this issue. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so that's how we're going to bring down this message board. But before we do that, let's go under listings. And let us remove uh, entropy group malicious hacking thing. And let us remove suspicious arise. Suspicions arise over entropy. And uh, new Microsoft phone, about as bad as you expected. <laughs> Shots fired. Uh, okay, so then we'll come back up here and we will remove the config sys. Uh, RM config sys. Bam, that should kill their message board. And then we're gonna go under the logs and remove our traces here. Do 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 all right. I think we have done what we need what we came to do here. Is there anything else under bin actually? Let me just make sure. Uh no. Okay. Let me make sure I've got rid of all these logs still. Okay, cool. Disconnect. Alright, we are done there with that. I guess I can leave these these running here, might as well. All right, uh, confirmation mission. So we'll just reply to this, I guess. Excellent. All right. Welcome. Greetings, ma'am. Congratulations. Your timely execution of your first contract has proved your abilities, and I can now gladly welcome you to Entropy. As a small welcoming gift, you'll find user details of the admin account to our asset server attached. Help yourself to any programs you might need and view our mantra. Once you're geared up, reply to this address, and I will arrange a true test of your abilities. Again, congratulations, Tex. All right. Oh, they gave me uh, credentials here, too. So Entropy Asset Server and Credentials. All right, so we'll connect to this guy. We shall log in with these credentials. Cool. All right, what do we got here? So under bin, we've got, well, we already have SSH crack, so FTP bounce would be good. So we'll grab that. There we go. Grab that for ourselves. And... Anything else here, I guess? Uh, backups mantra, cat mantra. Entropy mantra, our group is founded on three pillars, which we strive to follow in all, th in all things. One, strive for justice and righteousness in all things. Two, create and share more than you destroy. Three, never have an excuse not to improve. Entropy will deny contracts that go against these pillars and remove agents that violate them. Okay, that's good to know. And, oh, there's backups here. What, what backups do we have here? Oh, a backup of FTP bounce, okay. <laughs> Just in case somebody goes in and deletes it, right? Uh, log, let's do get rid of our logs here. Excellent, and we'll disconnect and then reply to said email. Let them know that we're done there. Cool. Welcome. Excellent. I'd like to first to formally invite you to begin accepting entropy contracts. Attach the location of the group's secure contract database, along with logging credentials necessary to access it. Feel free to accept and complete initial contracts at your leisure. Uh, I'll be in contact again to gauge your progress soon. Okay, so here's their contract database and some credentials to get on there. Excellent. All right, so come on over here. We'll log in with our credentials. And then we've got ourselves a contract board. So a legal clone of a face space ink product. What is this? A direct and unaltered clone of this company's product has shown up on the market, giving the pirates benef uh, profits for work that is not theirs. Take care of the offensive party. Ooh, okay. Uh, hollow point internal intimidation tactics. Colleagues of a valued client have been disrespectful and need to be sent a message. Destroy a recently created server backup. Hmm. Need to be sent a message to try to recently create server backup. Mm, interesting. Uh, I, I don't know if I don't know what the the difficulty rating of these things are. Uh, a bit of a strange request. Someone exceptionally well funded asked for some help investigating a coworker's tablet to see if it's being used for personal matters at work. 
Guess we poke around their system may look like they were obsessed with aliens. Might be a really dedicated role-playing group or a group of conspiracy theorists. Hmm, interesting. Back to school. High school has contacted us with concern about their IT department accessing private student data, likely on the request of one of their student's parents, but we can't say for sure. They don't want anything deleted, but want to discreetly find if uh, their IT staff's private passwords so they can investigate themselves. Well, that sounds interesting. All right, let's accept that one. And then we'll exit this guy. Okay, so what do we got here from that? So that was our, our you know, job board going forward here. Entropy Mailbots. Agent Millborough High School's administration department has contacted us looking for a means of quietly gaining their IT staff's admin password so they can perform an investigation as to what data they are keeping on their students. While inside, try to preserve all data the way you find it. Any tampering could mess with their judgment. For your part of it, you'll need to break in, clear your tracks, and reply to this with the password to the server. We'll take care of contacting the school and sending the details over. Okay. Interesting. All right. So let's look at this guy. Let's do an end map here. Let's see what it tur turns up. Okay. There's a proxy. That's child's play. And one port we need to crack it. Okay. Easy peasy. Overloads here all the way down. Pretty soon. <laughs> it is it's a little bit higher level proxy apparently because it's taking a little bit while. So we've got that. Nice. Bypass that. We'll do our SSH crack. And see if we can get in this away. Excellent. All right. Port. Port hack. As you can see, it's all just a kind of repetition, but you know, you kind of expect that from, from these things. And uh, all right. So. We have, I'd like to actually, I'd like to actually scan for more things if I could, but I guess not. Uh, view file system, LS. We'll go under log here. It's our logs, sorry. Uh, under bin, that is empty. Under home then. Uh, miscellaneous. People not to trust, TXT, all right. Cat, people. Not to trust. Uh, hey, dude, I know where know where I can pick up some herb. A <laughs> guy at Lacey's gave me your deets. Yeah, dude, what are you chasing? Sweet, how much for an ounce? 145 bucks. Man, done deal. Where do you want to meet? So we have a deal. 145 for an ounce of Primo weed, eh? Primo weed. Yeah, man, done. Cool, I've got your IP address. So I'll just swing by. Wait, how do you know that? Being a cop has its perks. Shit, mom's gonna kill me. <laughs> uh, okay, so there's that. Uh, MH staff. All right, this is. Can I not get under there? Wait a minute. CD. MH staff. There we go. Uh, private student email. Wow. Okay. Uh, private. Student emails? Who keeps a private student emails folder around? Seriously. Cat mail text. If a student ever sends me an appreciative email, I will store it here. Got him so alone. Notepad EXE, you're the only one that understands me. <laughs> oh, great. So it's just a honeypot. It is just a honeypot. Uh, password memo is probably what we want here. Thinking about security, yeah? Yeah, and I think all these upgrades are just going to be a huge goddamn hassle to put in and work with and stuff. But check this out. Easy solution. We just make the IT password that. I don't get it. Exactly. Just seven seven asterisks. Really? That's literally the password. Just seven, just seven stars. Who's going to guess that? No one. Even if someone hacks it, still looks protected. Literally unbreakable. <laughs> don't don't make your password seven stars, kids. It's It doesn't work. Trust me. Uh, <laughs> cat announcements, um, clearly some of our students do during the announced outage of it last night. Apparently some students worked out that while the internet was still active, the search filter wasn't. And in space of the 20 minute outage, 22 terabytes of pornography on the score school servers <laughs> and various homeroom PCs. Wow. 
the, the proxy proxy filter was down for 20 minutes and they downloaded 22 terabytes of porn. Damn kids. Damn you kids. Don't you know you can just stream all that stuff now? Uh, okay. Um, all right. So it doesn't look like they're actually up to any, any badness at all. So that's, that's a thing. Um, I wonder if I have to do, do I just have to like, I guess I have to SCP it, PW menu, memo or whatever. There you go. Um, I guess that's what they wanted me to do. And go under log, remove trace of us being here. And there we go. Excellent. All right. Disconnect. Bam. And we come over here and we say back to school. We need to break in, clear your tracks, reply to this with the password to the server. Okay. So I guess I just have to reply to it. I guess I shouldn't have copied that off of there. Oh, well. Uh, preserve all the data the way you find any tampering could mess with your judgment. Yeah, well, I didn't, I didn't, I preserved everything. So reply and it's, what was it? Seven, seven stars. One. Okay. Can I just, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> uh, and I think that's all we need there. Send. Uh, oh, uh, I hit too many, too many things here. Hang on. Back to school. Okay, really? Wow, I don't know if the guy's a genius or an idiot. Probably a bit, bit, bit of both. Damn, I mean, I only checked it myself because the verification script said it was working. I wanted to test that. Huh, this is going to be a confusing reply to school admins. Ugh. Good work on your end. Putting it through now. Admins. Okay. And this one. Congratulations, the client of your recent contract has reported a success and is pleased with your work. You are now free to accept further contracts from the contract database. Current ranking is 80 of 100. Oh, I didn't get I didn't get 100 out of 100? Oh, okay. <laughs> or maybe I'm supposed to go up. Maybe it's going up to like rank one. Oh, that might be what, that might be it. So I got 20 points for that. Excellent. All right. Well, uh, I think we can, we can close these out right now. And I think that it was a good look at Hacknet. It is on Steam. It is fully released. It is out there and, and waiting for you. If you're into the hacking games like this, if you liked uh, Uplink from back in the day, you'll probably enjoy this. I'm enjoying it, uh, even though it is kind of repetitive. It doesn't quite yet have the depth that uh, Uplink had for me. Um, and actually I'm really feeling the need to go back and play that. Also, uh, I noticed that Uplink is uh, available on Steam now, which is very cool. I have the old CD of it. Uh, I had to actually, I had to buy buy it from overseas because it wasn't uh, it wasn't available in America. So it was that was one of the first things I bought from, from the UK. Um, so back in the day that is. Uh, but yeah, uh, you all, all the links will be in the description as always. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you next time.